What is up everybody, this is Tyler 720 News, and today this is going to be a video on all the main laptops that I use. Alright, so I did do a video of basically all the machines that I own a while back. A lot has changed since then. I'll probably go into more detail on that. Uh, here, let me log into this one first. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, so let's go over some of these machines and what they're packing. This machine, we'll start off with this. This is technically not used anymore. I figured I might put this in a video because this machine is just a comedy and how wrecked it is. This machine is a Toshiba Tetra, uh, I believe M1. I had three of these machines. I loaned two of them out, none of which came back to me. I honestly didn't care. I kind of care now because this machine was fully loaded. I really, really upgraded this thing. This thing had a Core Duo, and I just stuck a Core 2 Duo on there for laughs. Uh, the graphics trip was terrible, but it had Windows... Point of sale on it, 2009. I had in the DVD drive a uh, external battery or a battery in the DVD drive, and that gave me about 10 hours of life. This machine wasn't terribly bad. It was a good machine. lasted me a while. It lasted me from the end of sophomore year up to the beginning of the junior year, and I ditched it. And I you started using a Toshiba, uh, or no, a Samsung. What was it? I started using a Samsung Series 3 notebook, and that didn't last me very long. I got that machine completely trash picked. And none of it worked, and I got it working again, and what happened was it got stolen. I didn't really care. I, I thought it was hilarious when it got stolen because that laptop had 16 passwords on Not really 16, but about like four passwords, six passwords. One for Ubuntu, one for Windows 7, and then you also had a password for the BIOS, which was impossible to get into. You had a password to turn on the machine. You had a password for both the SSD... And what I don't remember what the other password was. The other password was just like a, was just like another turn on password. It, so whoever stole it, it's entirely useless to them. They're gonna have to know that. So that's pretty funny in my opinion. They stole a completely useless laptop, and that's honestly I get a kick out of that. This laptop has been subjected to pretty much destruction. The whole screen is cracked. Um, I basically slammed this thing against my head. I was gonna do a video on this, and I don't know if I still had the video, but I slammed this thing against my head. It works still, but it's a refurb project that I wanted to do. Never got it done. This is my main laptop. This bad boy is my uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T430. This thing is fully loaded, guys. This thing is a 9-cell battery that will last me about 10 hours. Um, at max, it lasts 10 hours. It's supposed to hold it to 30, but the cell has been, this battery has been used a little bit. It has a... DVD drive, you know, nothing's fancy. I was going to put a hard drive caddy in there, but I was also thinking about putting a uh, second battery. That's where the 10 hours, the extra 30 hours would come from, but I don't have that. Uh, this machine has Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit installed on it, as well as Ubuntu 14.04. This machine has 8 gigabytes of RAM, a Core i5, uh, clocked at 2.6 gigahertz. It's a Core i5. It's a pretty nice dual Core i5. It's a i5 32. 20M, so it's a decent dual core i5. Like I said, it has 8 gigs of RAM, so it's not a bad machine. This and it has Intel HD Graphics 4000, the earlier revision, which means that this machine has a 1.5 gigabytes of video RAM, which is not bad. This machine does what I need to do perfectly, no questions asked. This machine will do it. And this is my main school computer, and this thing is kick ass, guys. I can't stress it enough. This thing is awesome. So. Moving on to these laptops, uh, some of them are trying to run the screen shavers. I don't know why the screen shavers run so shitty on these, besides this one. I think it has to do with the fact that the um, something's up with the, uh, the file directory. But let's start off over here. This is a Dell Inspiron 1501. I uh, got this machine for free. It has nothing fancy. It's got a genuine Intel T2050, which is a core duo, clocked at, I think, one point. I don't know, 1.5, 1.4 gigahertz. I don't know. It's, it's it's clocked very low though. A gig of RAM, nothing special. 
Uh, this machine is pretty much used for the robotics program. I bring it in and they use it for the robotics program. This is given to me for free. Right here is a Dell Inspiron 17E1705. This is a multimedia machine. This thing has the best sounding speakers I've ever heard in a laptop before. And these things are even better than the 2016 MacBook Pros and any other MacBook Pro I've heard. It's pretty darn good. Uh, if I can pull up the, uh, the uh, media drive here, I'll play a test sample of how damn good the audio is on this thing. Music. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, there we go. Something that interesting to play on here. One. A little slow because it's got to get it off the network, and my network drive that has my music on is a little slow. And yeah, this machine's got a 500 gigabyte drive. This has got a uh, 80 gig. It's really good audio. My grandma practically uses this one. This one's basically hers. It's not basically hers. It's mine, but I will give it to her to use. And she likes it a lot. Um, let me close these. She likes this computer a lot. And it actually has a bad power inverter. So you need to keep the battery charged and plugged in. Otherwise, it's a long story. This right here is a Hewlett Packard uh, Pavilion G7. This is my DJ computer. This machine is not as loaded as the ThinkPad, but it gets the job done. I got this machine for about 20 bucks. And that one for 20 bucks too, but this machine had a lot of problems. The RAM was dead, the hard drive was dead, this thing was tortured. It was completely destroyed. And I somehow managed to get it running again. I ended up having to, they, the RAM in it was bad. Uh, I had 6 gigs of RAM in this machine, it only got 4 now because I needed the extra 2 gigs for something else. But the hard drive is a 700 gig drive that's about to die as well. This drive's not any better than the old one, but whatever. Um, the screen has a really bad, nasty issue. If you wibble it or kind of adjust it improperly, it'll like distort and have a bunch of dead pixels. Oh, no, 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 that screensaver apparently is broken. See, that's what the screensaver is supposed to run like. But then on this screen, I don't know, I think this the file directory for it's corrupted. Anyhow, this machine works pretty darn good. It's got a, I don't know what it has. It has a Core i3. I know it has a Core i3 quad core, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's either a quad core or a dual core hyper threaded. I'm not entirely sure. I could be completely wrong. Uh, device manager here. It's got for graphics Intel HD 3000 C, and for processor it has a Intel Sandy Bridge Core i3 2370M clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. So it's it's definitely a uh, I don't know. It's definitely not a. Uh, I don't think it's a quad core. I'm pretty sure it's a dual core hyper threaded. There's no way this thing's a quad. This is not a bad machine. It's got a decent battery in it. The battery was brand new. I threw a new battery in it. The battery holds quite a long time, too. It's only a six cell, which is impressive. Um, this machine's practically got everything I need in it for what I use, and it seems to do just fine. It's got lots of storage space, so I can go ahead and uh, store as much songs as I want on it. It's not a bad machine. I got it for about 20 bucks, and uh, I, I definitely put about 50, like, a lot of parts into it. I probably put about, like, almost 70 to $80 worth of parts into it because the whole thing was practically unusable. It was so destroyed. But it works now, and it was well worth the price I put into it. So, yeah, I definitely think it was well worth it. To the Dell Inspiron 22000. This machine is a tank build-wise, but overall, like, performance-wise, it's not that great. This machine has an Intel... Seller, I actually re I removed the Intel Celeron in. I believe it's packing an Intel Pentium M in it now at 1.40 gigahertz, and it's got a 512 megabytes of RAM. The graphics are absolutely horrible, but as you can see, she does seem to work not that bad. It is running Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bits, which is probably the only version I could run in this machine, and it's not running off of a hard drive. This machine's actually got something very special about it. See that flash drive right there? It's booting off of that. Reason why I did that is because the hard drive controller on this thing is terrible. You can't use the hard drive on this thing for crap. Even if it's a good PATA drive, the hard drive controller reaches a maximum of maybe a megasecond. It's absolutely garbage. 
So I'm using a flash drive as a boot drive, and that's not bad. This laptop is mainly sticks around here, but I do bring it to school to be used as a programming computer. This is a Hewlett Packard Series 2000 notebook. It's got a nasty crack in the screen. My friend Rebel gave this to me. He's a good friend of mine. He gives me a lot of cool stuff computer-wise. When he finds them, he normally, you know, me and him do trade-offs. I help him out with some things. I'm a handyman, I guess you could say. He gave me this machine. He was going to give me another machine with this. He gave me both a Dell Precision T3400, which is my main machine. I upgraded it. As along with this, he was also going to give me another one, but that has a cracked screen, too. Uh, I don't know what the story is behind the cracked screen. I actually fixed this computer for him a while ago because the fan on it just stopped working. This is a very cool running system though, so fan's not that bad of an issue. Uh, definitely not good for the processor, but this is an AMD, it's an E-Vision, it's a very early revision E-Vision processor, it's a dual core, very, very shoddy processor, I kid you not, this thing's got a very wimpy processor in it. And graphic, it's an APU basically, but despite it being a total sad piece of crap, it, it does work for what I use it for, this machine's basically used for web browsing as well as like I said I use this machine basically for school use where I bring it into school and we use it for the robotics program to program robots I dedicate these machines, I bring them there every year and they practically get used this thing is a AMD E E4050 or E450 APU so it's, it's not that great of a graphics card and then 4 gigs of RAM, nothing fancy but it works this is the crappiest out of the bunch this is the Toshiba Satellite A60. This thing is a fucking space heater. And I know I just dropped the F-bomb there, but it's absolutely true. This is a joke of a mobile processor. This is an Intel Pentium 4 5, 518. As you can see, it's a Prescott, but it uses a socket 480 or 478. Look at that. M for mobile. That's a bunch of asinite. This thing is nowhere near a mobile CPU. This thing uses a full-fledged CPU or processor or desktop, excuse me, a processor, am I seriously repeating myself from the mistake I just made? <laughs> Anyhow, it's got a full-fledged desktop CPU in it, which is a bunch of crap. There's no way that this thing is a mobile CPU. As you can see, it's clocked at 2.8 gigahertz. This thing only holds about five minutes of battery life. I kid you not, this thing has got a really bad battery in it. And a matter of fact, on the website, it only says that this thing can hold a maximum of 30 minutes. I kid you not. On the original test bench, this thing can only hold 30 minutes. That's the actual rec that's the actual estimated battery life in this thing. How pathetic is that? Huh, it shows you how much of like power wasters these things are. This machine's got a very bad hard drive, but RAM-wise, I believe it's got 768 megs of RAM. I could be wrong there. Let me go ahead and look here. The hard drive is practically filled. It's only a 10 gig drive. Yeah, it's got 768 megabytes of RAM, which only 704 are usable. And yeah, it's not terrible. It does what I need to do. The uh, It's got a nice sound on it. The speakers are definitely not very good, but the SRS True Sound XT surround thing, it actually does sound pretty damn good when it comes to playing surrounds uh, kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about these machines. Uh, these are just basically the main machines I work around. This machine was going to go to my mom, but for reasons I will not discuss on YouTube because that is very, very inappropriate and not cool to talk shit to this one person I do not like. But uh, that person is the reason why she might not get that laptop because I don't trust him with it. He might pawn it, put it there. So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. Now do keep in mind, I have twice more of these laptops. The only laptop that I'm missing out of the bunch is my Lenovo Y50, which is a little gaming laptop that I own. That's in storage. I have no idea if it still works. I really should take it out of storage because that laptop, from what I remember, is a beast. It is a very nice laptop for its age. It's kind of dated by today's standards, but it is a beast from what I remember. I also have a... I used to have a 2012 MacBook Pro. That got sold off a while ago. I barely used the thing. I, I absolutely despised it, Tom. Um, quite frankly, it had nothing on my Lenovo ThinkPad. Well, Lenovo ThinkPad ripped ass when it came to the 2012 MacBook. I sold it for a good price. I was able to get about $900 for it, which, and the condition it was in, I think, was a good price to sell it at because that thing was in great condition. The only thing that was wrong with it was the hard drive when I got it, and I fixed that. I put a one terabyte drive in it. I sold it off, and I got a good deal out of that thing. And I, quite frankly, I'm very proud of the uh, resale. But I didn't use it that much because I had no use for a MacBook. It only had like a dual core i5. It was a very shoddy MacBook. 
so I didn't really use it that much, and it just had problem after problem. The hard drive was one of the issues that died on it. Then I noticed the RAM died on it. I had no idea why the RAM died. So I replaced the RAM, and then something went wrong with the hard drive again, where it was like, it, it was only reading a certain amount of, I, I don't know, it was just a bunch of crap. It was only reading half of the hard drive space, and the, the transfer rate went down, and I fixed the hard drive problem. It was just a problem with the drive, but um, I basically sold the thing, so there you go. That was my ambitions. Uh, what other laptops? I mean, eh, that's pretty much it. I, I actually am missing one other one. I have an exact replica of this laptop up in the attic. I have the same exact one of this. I just don't have it down here because I don't want to go up in the attic. It's very, very hot, and I don't feel that it'd be worth taking this thing out. But I do have another one of those. It has a cracked screen. I don't use it, though. But, yeah, that's practically it. I have more laptops than this. As a matter of fact, I used to have three of these. I sold them. But I have a lot more laptops than this, especially those, especially the Dell ones. But uh, they're all in storage, and I probably won't use them anytime soon. So, yeah, thanks for watching, Current Subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any more requests about computer stuff, I'm probably going to, going to be doing another computer thing where I'm going to be talking about all the machines I own again as an updated video. So thanks for watching, Kurt, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.